Thanks again for tuning back into the channel. In this week's video, we are going to be talking about courses and I would love your opinion on three upcoming courses that I have. Before I do that though, I just want to say again, a big thank you to everyone who purchased the previous course. I've had loads of feedback through and all positive and constructive and thank you so much. It's been really, really humbling to read. I would love to be able to use some of that feedback on the website as well as some of the images that you have created using the course and the techniques that you've learned in the course. And if that's okay with you, please drop me an email because I would love to be able to share some of the feedback and the images themselves. However, back to this week's video for now. I would love your opinion on the three upcoming courses that I have. The Beginner's Photoshop course, the Intermediate Advanced Photoshop course and the Lightroom for Photographers course. Now, these run over eight weeks, one hour per week in a class environment, online class, but in a class environment so you have peers around you learning at the same pace and learning the same things at the same time. Now, this type of course doesn't appeal to everyone. Some people like learning in their own so I have a few questions later on in this video that hopefully you will take to the comments and answer for me and that will allow me to better formulate what is happening in these courses. Photoshop itself can be quite daunting when you first open it with its seemingly endless menus, tools and options. From layers to masks, filters to adjustments, there's a lot to take in and it is easy to feel lost in the vast array of its possibilities. The sheer power of the software is both exciting and intimidating, especially if you're just starting out. You might find yourself wondering where to begin or how you'll ever master such a complex program. But the actual truth is, Photoshop is like any other skill. Once you get the hang of the basics, things start to click. After you've learned these foundational tools, these skills serve as building blocks for almost any technique you want to apply to your images. Whether you're retouching portraits, enhancing landscapes, or in this case, creating composites. These fundamental skills will allow you to experiment and bring your own creative vision to life. With practice, Photoshop transforms from a daunting challenge into an empowering tool that lets you apply your techniques across any image, no matter the complexity. I'd also like to mention that this video is here just for reservation of any of the courses. No monies are taken at the moment. That will be, I will send out an email confirming that you have a place in the course. And then a week and a half to two weeks prior to commencement, of course, I will send you another email confirming everything about the course and then asking for payment. Here's some more about the courses themselves. The courses I have planned are a beginner's course in Photoshop, an advanced course in Photoshop and a Lightroom course and these will land on a Monday, a Tuesday and a Wednesday with the beginner's Photoshop course on the Monday, the Lightroom course on the Tuesday and the advanced Photoshop course on the Wednesday. I'll put all the details in the website and I'll put the link to the website in the description below. And with this, if you sign up to any of the classes, including any of the purchase courses you will be added to if you want the Learn Explore Create community on Facebook. Now, this is a private group and it is only for people that have purchased a course or taken the online classes. I've only just created this page and if you would like to be added to it, if you've purchased any of one of the past courses, just send me an email and I will add you to that. This page is just to act as a community to share images because I'd love to share the images that some people have sent me through from the courses and it also just acts as a creative community for everyone where we can share ideas and each month I'll drop some images on there for you to use in composites or anything that you want as well. I just thought it'd be a good idea to get a community, a creative community up and running because we're all at different stages and it's great to share any practice that we have. 
this is where you come in. The questions that I was asking myself were, what were the most convenient days of the week for you to attend a live stream? Now, with my calendar and everything, the times on the screen suit me best, but I can adjust these around about an hour or so. Uh, is one hour enough time for each session? Considering we'd all be working in the same image at the same time and following step by step, I could go to one and a half hours maximum, but I think at the same time, one hour is enough for you to take in the information. There's only 16 seats on each class at the moment because I believe that smaller class sizes promote a better learning environment. But if the demand is there, I can go to 20 in each class. The platform for the broadcast was, I'm currently testing both Zoom and Google Meet. Um, we've used Zoom in the past quite successfully, but Google Meet has some interesting features that I would like to continue to try to see if it best suits my needs. Alternatively, would you prefer these courses in video format as is on the website currently so that you can learn at your own pace? I'm looking for your feedback in this and anything that you can suggest, I'm definitely willing to listen to. If you stayed to the end of the video, thank you very much indeed. And perhaps one of these courses is of interest to you or if not and you think that it would be of interest to someone you know, uh, please send them a link to either the website or to this video where they can find out more about it. Thanks again for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next video.